Now recording. Hey there, freaks. The Unseeing Critics is a show full of humor, opinions, and criticism. The views expressed in this podcast is our own. We will likely offend you at some point, so you, dear listener, have been warned. Listen at your own peril. Well, how did that work out for us, Jesse? I feel like we should do that. I know that goes in the episode, but I feel like we should do that every time before we talk. Well, I'm hoping it actually played through and recorded. So that's why I want to try that. I would think. Yeah. Well, who cares what you think, sir? Besides me. I mean, because you are a critic. Yeah. I have two questions for you, and they won't, they're not like argumentative questions, but I don't know if you saw Facebook yet. I shared this thing. I have not been out there in like four days. Okay. I shared this thing that said that it is rumored that. Um, worms Your mom eats cookies. No, worms taste oh. like bacon. They don't. So I okay, because I shared it, and your mom was like, "You have to try one first And I tagged you and said, "I was hoping Richard would try it for both of us and let us know." They don't taste like bacon. No, oh. I don't know so... unless it's a bacon one. I don't know, but would you, would you try one? Oh, I've eaten worms before. Oh, okay. Yeah, and cool. here's a big thing here. Okay, you know how there's a bat. There's always a battle. Is it called dressing or stuffing? I've heard there's a difference between both of those. There is. What do you call it? It depends on what you're having. Right. Okay, so here in this part of Pennsylvania, I don't know why they call it filling. Filling. Like yes. you fill your teeth with something? Yes. It's very weird. Sounds kind of crunchy. But they don't like it is kind of crunchy. They don't it's like drier and crunchier. They don't put it in the turkey. Now see what you put in the turkey is what you call stuffing. stuffing. Right. And if you don't do stuffing, that it's one dressing. Is called dressing. Yeah. But like I've had dressing and it's not dr- like you can still make it moist and everything. Yeah. But this stuff they call filling. It's very weird. It's like well, a crust. People up there are weird. I mean, well, not, in my, not in my home part of the state. Bull crap. Subward. Hey, I didn't say subward. I said my I own know part of the state. You're not from where you're at. You were born in a different yes, and raised that's what in I'm a different. Saying my yeah. part of the state is not weird. Right. Well. I mean, oh, I thought you were saying it was. No, 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 no. I'm saying like where you're at now. I mean, so you know, she still she will not give up sword. She will not see that the majority of the world does not say it that way. Well, she is different. And the funny thing is, I almost laughed my ass off. I think I told you this, but I didn't tell people on the show. We're driving one day. Her mom says it the same way she does. Yeah, like I said, like, what is I'm wrong with you people? There. I don't get it. I mean, I've heard other people say it, but like I have 95%. Too, it's, all, it's weird. Well, like I said, y'all are weird. And you know something else I hate? Your face? That. But see what I did there? Spell, you know, people, see yes, I, did, I see what I you hate did. your face. People but. that spell Christmas with an X, that annoys me. Yeah, I just, I just want to let you know that, yeah, I plugged y'all show. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. I hate your face is a good podcast. But I hate when they spell Christmas Xmas, and I hate the fact that our screen readers pronounce it the same fucking way. Yeah, there's there's a little bit behind that actually. Oh, um, there is. Yeah, I thought it was just people being assholes and not wanting to put, you know. That's part of it, but the X is also, if I remember right, I've never researched it. This is what I've been told mm-hmm. um, by somebody whose opinion I value. Is that it's a like a symbol, like a I'm not saying a Hebrew letter, but something like. But I feel like the majority of people in our country, yeah, wouldn't just think that. put X because they yes. want to put Christ in Christmas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So but, this um, person I mean, that you value their opinion, they're kind of like me. Then you value my opinion. Yeah, but we know <laughs> we know what I said. That seems like a shot at me. <laughs> Well, no, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. 
But we're on scene critics, so we, our opinions matter more. Well, my opinion matters more to me. I mean, yeah. but with that <clears throat> said. Yes, sir. What movies did we do? We did Jingle All the Way and Jingle All the Way 2. Yes. So, Jingle All the Way. Well, should we get, is Arnold here? Mm-hmm. Ah, dang it. I hate what? when that happens. What? Arnold's in the daggum refrigerator drinking all of my Coke Zeros. I didn't know you got Coke Zero. Fuck, I love Coke Zero. And he ate my suppers for the week. Arnold, what are you doing? I am drinking and eating. Yeah. But you're eating our stuff. You didn't even ask. Can I have it? You are, yeah, if you drink three fourths of the damn bottle. No, I drank three fourths of the bottle. He's, he's not lying. I had like 24 in there, and there's only on like a side six note. Isn't, isn't Coke Zero great? I love it. Yeah, it's very good. What, what suppers did he eat of yours? And I had the turkey and the yams. And the yams and the turkey, and I had uh, the barbecue ribs, right there, the, the uh, boneless ribs with the greens and the rice. And, oh, it's very good. Is there a difference between sweet potatoes and yams? No, a yam is a sweet potato. Oh, okay. I always wondered if there was a difference. Okay. I mean, prepared differently. Oh, okay. So, Arnold, we are doing 1996's Jingle All the Way. I was with, with Maria you, Sliver. With you, Sinbad, and Phil Hartman. Yeah, it was a great movie. It was a great movie. I loved it. This movie. It was pretty good, yeah. What, I love what the part of the favorite? End? Do what? I was good. Okay, so basically, it's Arnold. If you don't know the plot, Arnold is trying to get a toy for his son. He lies to his wife. On Christmas Eve, tells her he has the toy, and no, the toy is like. Arnold. No, Arnold it wasn't it? Was you? Life. Oh, you're talking about the movie. I thought yes, you were talking movie. about the maid. No, 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 the movie. Oh, That's see, I, I made the porno phone. called "Jingle My Way." Yeah, it's a, I mean that was wrong. Jingle my balls. No, I'll jingle my way. Oh, uh, Katai watched this with me. Did she? And I have to tell Arnold. You might want to hold your ears. I was reading trivia and they said that Tim Allen was originally or had gone off for the same role as Arnold. And Katie said that Tim Allen would be better than Arnold and it hurt my heart. I was bumped on in the face. I mean, I like Tim Allen, but it's Arnold. It would not have worked with Tim Allen. No. I, don't, I mean, we wouldn't have known any different, granted, but I, I, I look at the Santa Claus. I if roles were reversed, I couldn't see Arnold. No, <laughs> you know. Um, I feel, you know what's amazing about Arnold though, and he's probably going to get a Woody when I say this. I already got one. He is so good in action, but he is so good in comedy as well. Yeah, it was not I funny love you, movie. Arnold. It was a serious movie. I had to get present to the man for my son. Yeah, I my favorite part. I have two favorite parts in this movie. The first one is when, when you beat the shit out of all the Santas. That was fun. And I read in the trivia that Mini Me was one of the was the little midget Santa. Yeah, and you know the Big Show was in it. Yes, and my other favorite part, and you're you can make fun of me if you want. I love the end when he, he realizes his son realizes that he was Turbo Man. He's like, I don't need the action figure now. And he gives it to Sid Bad. Yeah, that's awesome. That's and, like so touching. I, do like I just that love part. That. But what I and Mom and me were talking about it as we watched it, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, remember back in the movie, like whenever he gets to the parade and gets the suit and everything, mm-hmm. the technician guy says, Yeah, and it has a voice modulator in it to make you sound like Turbo Man. Yeah. Um, in the part of the movie where I actually heard Turbo Man, he didn't sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know? 
Then, like when you Arnold's can tell there's a little I, when he's flying around. Yeah, when he's flying around, it sounds like him. Yeah, I mean Arnold as Turbo Man sounds like Arnold. He don't sound like Turbo. He Man. sounds like a little robotic though. But yeah, but nothing like Turbo Man. The figure is supposed no. to sound. I mean, you can easily yeah. tell it's Arnold. That's because I'm a good actor. If you were a good actor, you are a good actor, but if you were a good actor, it wouldn't sound like you. You just said I was a good actor, but not a good actor. I will punch you in the face. And, drink your cold and I love when he punches that reindeer in the face. Kitty's like, oh, he punched him in the face. I'm like, just wait. Like oh, yeah. I like, I mean, I love the whole movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. And Phil Hartman's sleazy as shit, but he's funny. Oh, man, I love Phil Hartman. I was reading like the and there's the so trivia. many good parts of this movie. Yeah, don't get me I wrong, but I was you know, when the they're trivia, in the they car said, and oh, he's ahead. like Phil Hartman's hitting all on the wife. And then, Did she you know, punch him like, in the face? Yes. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's such a good one. You yeah, know, they it's... said in the trivia that he was such so opposite of his character. They all said he was such a delight to work with. Well, yeah. I mean, it, I feel bad what happened all around. Him. No. Do what? I feel bad what happened to him. What's well, because I lost Maria Shriver because of Arnold? No, Phil Hartman's wife killed him. Oh, that is very sad. She killed him and then killed herself. Yeah. He was, I mean, he was hilarious. He was funny. And Sinbad was funny as shit, too. Yeah, Sinbad is awesome. I love that he movie was... that he did, Um, First Kid. And I, I also know, love the. Two. I loved House Guest. Didn't he do House Guest? Yes. No. Was it House Party or House Guest? What was House Guest? Could be. Yeah. House Party. I've never seen. Actually, I'm not sure if I have either. Hmm. I'd have to go back and watch. Which was first kid? I don't remember first. Oh, wait a minute. Where he's wait a minute. Secret Service agent. Okay, I do remember. I remember that a little bit. That was good. It was a good movie. Without Arnold, Arnold should just be in everything. I agree, like Maria Shriver. Uh, did yeah. you have a good Thanksgiving, Arnold? Yeah, I stuffed your mom's turkey. Arnold, you dick. What? You don't like my stuffing? No. That's or do you mean like mean. actual or do you mean like actual stuffing? I thought you were saying you had sex with my mom. I would never have sex with your mom. Oh, okay. But sorry. You're not Maria Shriver. You're my friend, Arnold. I'm sorry. No, you just said I was a master or something. I don't know. <laughs> I still need to watch your Netflix series. Yeah, I do too. But and your documentary and too. Professor Stallone's documentary. He's just looking at us now. Arnold, hey, he's what's going wrong? back to the refrigerator. Get out of there. Hey, get out. Um, what's that? What's what's that little bastard's name now? That we know. always change the name. He's get him to like, bite on, Arnold. Like a little Santa Claus Arnold hat. Or something. Oh, this is hilarious. Renfro just walked up in here. He's got a little hat on. And he's got one of those little bells in his hand and the little like kettle in front of him and he's he sits and start ringing it Renfro go outside to actually collect money for um me Salvation Army no me he eats Eagle a lot all the of way food. to has Larry the cable guy and I did not like this you know it had Santino Morella in it too. Yes, right? I just didn't. I just I, I maybe it's because I watched the first one like right before I watched this, well, I and watched it's just like such, back. yeah, that's what I mean. For me, mm -hmm. it was like such a drop in quality. I just I don't know. I like Larry the Cable Guy, so if I was gonna rate this, I'd probably give it two stars because I like him. But it's it's good, but it's not as good as the first one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just didn't really do much for me. I mean, I own it only because I wanted the collection, you know. Yeah. Um, but I I like it for what it is. I I feel like they could have like it. did the same story, but like 
named it something else. Yeah. I and mean, I didn't realize it was a WWE film. Like it was produced by them. Right. But, you know, like I said, I, I like the second one. Nowhere near yeah. as good as the first one, but I mean, it had a decent storyline. I like how the stepdad's basically fighting with the real dad. Yeah. You know, and then um, what happens at the end is nice. Yeah. And then, and, spoiler, but the little girl didn't even want the bear. <laughs> but, um, uh, I could not hear that. What did it say? Yeah, did you hear it quiet. then? It's very quiet on my end. Huh. Okay. Everybody else will know. <laughs> um, I like the part in the second one where he like brings the snow for Noel, his daughter. And yeah. All that is funny. Yeah. Uh, but a really, really good movie, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I can't disagree with the two or uh, three at the highest rating. But, I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the first one. It had been a while since I watched the first one. And I just had so much fun with it yesterday. It's that's such a great movie. See, I watch it every year, so I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I watch it every year, and I mean, I love it. Yeah, that um, a Christmas vacation and a Christmas story. Christmas story is a weird one for me. You know, I said before I didn't like it. I like it now, but I only watch it on Christmas Day. I don't know why, but like I'll wake up early and watch it on Christmas Day. Yeah. I don't need like 24 hours or whatever they do on TV. I just I watch it once. I like it. I need to finish the second one, though. Because I started, I never finished it. It is what it is. You do that I a liked lot, it though, so far. You? You started well, a I lot of stuff and don't finish. Here's it. what happened. I started watching it and then it was on happened. it was on Christmas. Yeah. And then we had to go over to her dad's. <laughs> no, I didn't. Or no, we had to go to my parents, so I didn't watch <laughs> finish it. <laughs> Renfro he did take. <laughs> How much money does he got? Half of a penny. Is that a he penny? <laughs> I don't know. I always wonder what a he penny was. I know what a wheat penny is. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. But we've already talked and decided about what we're going to watch next week. What would you or, rate the first? The I'd first jiggle all the way? Yeah. Uh, easily four. Easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we've. We've decided that we're going to be watching planes, trains, and automobiles. Something I don't think I've ever seen. Like, I've seen bits and pieces, but I was young when I saw it. Yeah. And the other and movie Scrooge, is... something else I haven't ever watched the whole thing of. Y'all see that? I get like 1.25679843 no, seconds. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go no, ahead. no, no, no. By all means, sir, it's your show. It's your show. No, it's not. You ever taught me? Go ahead. Go ahead. It's the holiday season. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. He enjoys the sound of his own voice. Yeah, it's yeah. the holiday season, and I'm sorry. I'm apologizing. <laughs> oh, and then and the second movie is Scrooge. Correct. Yes, I've seen the end of that, but I don't know if I've ever seen the whole thing. But I've seen the end like 50,000 times. Well, yeah, he does like the tips. Can we cook him? I don't know if he sits on... He wants to know, do you sit on tips? No! Ah, <laughs> uh, but... Those are the movies that we're going to and watch. And we're going to review a book. Yeah. Next week, if somebody finishes it. Did you finish it? I have. Oh, okay. 
Have you? No. No. Are you past chapter six? No. Yes. Oh, what did you just get to chapter six this morning? I'm actually on eight. Oh, congratulations. Anyway. You remember us talking about something that we were going to talk about on mm-hmm. the show? This is your segment. Is it? It's I mean, time. I'll talk about it as well, but I'm going to try to give you... It's time. If I interrupt you. Or it's time. It's Vader raging time? redneck time. Okay. We criticize anything and everything on the show. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Don't sound so defeated. I'm not. We do. Uh-huh. We criticize it. Uh-huh. We uh-huh. nothing uh-huh. is off limits. Yeah. Yeah, maybe his his genitals are in her. Uh, Can he go away? Arnold, get rid of this damn thing. I got lot of my buddy. He says He's on my asshole. balls at night to keep them warm. Ew. I do not want the blue balls like you have. I don't have blue balls, I don't think. Oh, that's right. Katai has your balls. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah. So what are you so, pissed about this week, Mr. Redneck? Transableism. Ugh. Okay. If you want to be gay. You get the if floor. You to, if you want to be gay, that's cool. If you want to be a lesbian, that's cool. It's not my gig. I'm not into it. But if you are, it's your choice. I'm not judging. If you want to be single your your entire life, or if you want to be married your entire life, don't care. That's your choice. But transableism, where someone this does affect can, us, it does. I believe that I was supposed to be born disabled, so I'm just going to cut off my leg. I'm going to cut off my arm. I'm going to pour bleach into my eyes because I feel that I should have been born blind. No, you stupid fucking retard. Sorry. It really does piss me off. I mean, wouldn't you give pretty much anything to have your sight? Yeah. I mean, I would would give anything. Well, to be honest, since I haven't lost, like I didn't know what it was like, I don't know if I would. I can understand that. And I'm but sure you can understand, can understand me. It. Yes, completely. Yeah. These people are fucking ridiculous. No, they are retards. Oh, we're not allowed to say that word anymore. Well, I can. They are retards. <laughs> they are dumber than those people who actually have mental issues. You know, the ones that rode the little short bus to school. You didn't I ride the short that. bus to school, did you? Uh, yes, I did. Oh. Uh, well, but you had a legit reason. Yes, I did. You were retarded. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that is the most legit laugh I think I've ever given on this show. <laughs> but I mean, you had a legit reason. I was bullied on the short bus. I'll have to tell that story someday. Oh, we're going to get to it then. But my thing is. I, I felt that I was supposed to be born blind or disabled. No. Why You're stupid. This woman that? poured bleach into her eyes because she felt that she should be blind. You retard. Did it work? Yeah. Why would and now you? She's why semi would famous. You, why would you do that? Because she felt that she should have been born blind. Why would you want to have a disability? Life is hard with disabilities. Why would you want that? Well, life's hard. Get a helmet. regular by itself. Candace Owens is right. Life is hard. Get a helmet. Yeah. If you feel that you should have been born blind, wear a blindfold. Yeah, that would be a little less extreme than pouring bleach. Can you imagine how that hurt? Yeah. And she said in an interview, I can't remember where the interview was at. I regret the way that I did it, but I no don't shit, regret Sherlock. how I did it. And I, I sat there and I, I listened to it again. And I was like, you, my dear, are the reason or the poster child for the reason that people should wear condoms. You know, I wasn't, I know Katie is, but I wasn't a big Dr. Phil fan. 
I would love, I would love him to come back and just have her on his show. See, I wouldn't mind them doing an episode of it, like on that TV show Shrink. You know? Something. Someone needs yeah. to get down to the bottom of the stupidity of this bullshit. <clears throat> that is ridiculous. That's the dumbest one, and it's one that hits home hardest for me. Oh yeah, I, you know, and you especially I mean, because you had it and lost it. Like that's yeah. awful. That I is so. That I... How, you know, people throw away the offensive term a lot. How offensive is that? Very, and they don't care. They don't. That is. You know, oh wait, oh hold on, God. hold on. I, I'm identifying as a multi-billionaire. I'm a duck today. Uh, wait, I don't have any more money in my account. Why isn't it working? Because identifying is just identifying. It's like those people that say they want to manifest. Like I want to manifest an iPhone, and like they're pissed off when manifesting doesn't. Manifest. Yet they say yeah, things about us. This. Yeah, they think with like good thoughts they can manifest like a good job. They can manifest uh, money. It's gotcha, like gotcha. you give shit to me for praying, but you'll manifest something. Oh, like sitting on the floor. We call no, it Indian okay. style here. Yes, um, we do too. Okay, that's how you also always heard it called like crisscross applesauce. I you know, sit on the floor. I'm getting a new Apple MacBook Pro. Dude, that needs to be a new um, way of for Volker of the way of the Indian style. Yes. I am manifesting an Apple iPhone 15 titanium with 256 gigabytes of memory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am manifesting. Katie calls it sword. (laughs) I am manifesting manifesting a harem of women to cook and clean. I am manifesting 3.5. No one will get that, but you will. Yeah. I mean, but this is stupid. This has got to stop. This is like, this is the most extreme of all. I mean, if you want to identify if you want to be trans or whatever. That's one thing. That's your own choice. Yeah. Don't make don't make me have to buy into it. But that's one of your that's your own choice. <laughs> Why would you mutilate yourself to be disabled? Because they. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is fucking ridiculous. No, no, they made me. They made me closer to fucktard. Yeah, Arnold, I what think do you they think are. Of this? Do what? Arnold, what do you think of this? What people mute people that are like pouring bleach in their eyes because they think they should be blind, like they want to I be think disabled. That, I think, uh, let's see. Um, oh, I, this is a very hard question. What this girl has a vagina? Yeah, they do. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about, you know, like people trying to mutilate themselves, though? Well, I think. I don't know. I got to go pee. He He did drink a lot of the Coke Zeros. He did, but he's so weird sometimes. Yeah. You want me to pee right here? No! Go pee in that pot again. There's a flower pot over there with the dead flower. That's Richards. Go do that. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's the flower I was going to send to your mom. Okay. Get at it, Arnold. You, you should send it with Arnold Peace now. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it's stupid. It's ignorant. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, it's retarded. I mean, that's the one that sticks out the most to me because I am blind. You know, but yes. there was one where a lady or a guy... Felt that they should have been like wheelchair bound, so they cut off their. Why? From the knee why down. would you think? I just, I still don't understand why you would ever think you should be that. Well, and 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 the other one that I came across was a man cutting off his arm. Okay, what about the doctors that did this? I'm did assuming doctor... he just did it to himself. 
You mean a doctor? Yeah, and I, ne- I never come across that. I didn't look too deep into it because I came across right because I would not think there was a doctor that would do this. Do that. I mean, here, here's your fifth of liquor and the saw. <laughs> Get at it, boy. The doctor just gives them a fifth of whiskey and a saw. I can't, yeah. com- I can't confer, I can't perform this surgery. But here you go. Yeah, you sound like you're going to take a leak. No, I'm walking down the steps. Sure. I am not going to take a leak. Yeah, we know some people that do. But I mean, things yeah. like that just bother the... Well, it pisses me off. I mean, it, it just does. Because this has been the first segment of week. what pissed Richard off this week. Yeah. I mean, but... <clears throat> I don't know. I like the Raging Redneck better, I think. Do you? Yeah. Well, that is my title on the blog, so... Anything else that you'd like to discuss? Because I can feel my. You want to know pressure. about the time the time I was bullied on the bus? Oh yes, because you rode the short bus because you were retarded. So there's this kid. His name was Jeff, and Jeff wait, was wait, in wait, a wheelchair. Wait. Jeffy. <laughs> yes, I should have called him. His name was Jeffy. Did you wear a helmet on your short bus? No. Okay. I should have because I would listen to my CD player and nod off, fall asleep. And my head would always smack against the damn window of the bus. So I should wear a helmet. <laughs> no wonder you're the way you are. Because, like, the school was, like, literally 15 minutes from my house. But they had to do the route in reverse. So they picked me up first at, like, 6 o'clock. And we didn't get to school till 7. Oh, dude, you had to get up at, like, 5. <laughs> yep. But anyway, I don't know why Jeff was jealous of me. I mean, he was a smart kid. He was a wrestler, very, you know, very normal. Like and he was well, on the short the bus? He rode the short bus because he was in a wheelchair. Oh, and he was a wrestler? Yeah, he wrestled. That's really cool. It was. But he started, he, I, there were two, there was a girl on the bus. She, she was in my grade. Jeff was a year older than me. And oh. she, had some form of um, either muscular dystrophy or cerebral palsy. I don't know which one it is, but she like walked with a cart that she would like push in front of her. Yeah. And Jeff, I think, wanted to show off for her. I don't know why. So he started telling me that I had a horse tongue. And then he started slapping me in the back of the head. (laughs) So I wanted to turn around and punch him in the face, but I knew that I would get in trouble you know, I'm blind, but I would get in trouble that I hit the kid in the wheelchair. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking sorry. about South Park episode. Cripple fight! Cripple fight! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, my cousin just happened, or my cousin picked me up, was at my house where they dropped me off. He was there. He was older than me, my two cousins. Yeah. And Nothing that day, because I he didn't know. The next day, he stood there and stared Jeff down the whole time because they dropped me off first. And my other cousin, my my aunt had a talk out of going down to this kid's house because he lived near them. He wanted to go to his house, take him, go to the mall, or he saw him at the mall. That's right. He wanted to push him off. Throw him down the damn steps of the mall. Like they have like a That's one brutal. of those like wishing well things. Oh yeah. He wanted to throw him over. He, he's like, Tony, you can't do it. He's like, he talks shit on Jesse. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna take his legs off and beat him with them because he had um what are they called? The plastic leg thing. Yeah, but I can't think of the word. I can't think of what they're called either. Anyway. Prosthetic, but I mean, I don't know why he was such a dick to me. I was never mean to him, but I, and then I've asked, I asked Katie a couple of times. I'm like, do I have a horse tongue? She's like, no. A what? That's a, that was his big thing that I had a horse tongue. Like a Mister Ed kind of horse. Yeah. Yes. What the? Yeah, that was that was, and he would smack me in the back of the head. I want to fuck. It. I would have. My mom was like, you should have <laughs> defended yourself. I'm like, mom. You know damn well they would all got pissed at me because he was like the golden boy of the school. 
I'm just picturing something that shouldn't be happening. What? Okay, see, I thought he was paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah. You know, then you say he had the prosthetic leg. Yes, yes, he was. Okay. And I'm picturing him wrestling, like, without legs. And I'm picturing, like, a little grub worm. Come here, come here, come here. I want to wrestle you. Uh, I don't know why I was never mean to the kid. I don't know why he was an asshole to me. Oh, God. But here's a mean little horse tongue. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know if you've ever noticed it. And I'm not saying everybody, but we had two people in wheelchairs him and this other girl that was in my grade. They were she assholes. A cheerleader? No, but they were assholes. Like people, the two people I've dealt with that are in wheelchairs were arrogant pricks. Like I've they come across like, that with some people. They were like better than everyone else. I'm like, what the hell is your problem? I don't have to walk. Yeah, I'll listen to looking up to your chair. There was, there was one time we there was an elevator in school. Okay, and flat. I forget why I was in the elevator, but I was in the elevator for some reason. Yeah. He ran over my fucking foot with that electric wheelchair. And she never did apologized. it on purpose. She never apologized, and she sat on my foot the whole fucking elevator ride. I wanted to kill her. I mean, the wheelchair was on your foot the whole time. Yes, it was on my foot the whole fucking ride. Never oh, she apologized. Did. She did it on purpose. Don't you mess with my boyfriend, man. You're like 30 I pounds. Him I Wills Mahoney. <laughs> but she was so arrogant. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a great episode. <laughs> Don't you mess with my boyfriend. That's Wills Mahoney. <laughs> they, were, me... they, weren't, they weren't together, but yeah. And he calls me tits on wheels. <laughs> run, run, baby. <laughs> Wills Mahoney is the funniest. Oh yeah, oh man! But yes, but yeah, apparently I have a horse tongue, purpose. and I was so. Not only was I bullied, I've told you this story, but not only was I bullied by someone in a wheelchair, my first long-term girlfriend left me for a man with only one arm. So I've been bullied, and disabled people treat me like shit. Well, have you have you noticed? And I'm sure you have. Most disabled people are jerks. Yes, that's what I'm saying Uh-oh. about the wheelchair. They are. They're assholes. Yeah. I mean, why? Why do you say you sound like Laval? Yeah. 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 But I mean, why not? Why not be happy? Yeah. I, I don't they're, mis- they're miserable. Why don't you stop Second round, my pony. <laughs> I have one more. Qu- I have one more question for Arnold. Arnold, what? would you defend me if that kid bullied me again? No, probably not, because I am much older, and I would go to jail, and I cannot go to jail because they are. Uh, they do things to big, powerful men in jail. They make. What do, you, uh, what do you think I should do if a person in a wheelchair runs over my foot again and doesn't apologize? Wait till they're sleeping, then take a wrench and loosen their wheel, and then they go to roll off, and the wheel rolls, and they fall over, and the wheel keeps going. <laughs> and then and Arnold never done this. Arnold, you're very smart. And I've told you this before, but I'm sorry about Maria Shriver. You said you'll never bring that name up again. Are you still in contact with the maid? That was not me. That was oh, that was Arnold. Arnold. That's right. No wonder you wrote the short bus. You're the top. <laughs> this has been a great episode. It has been. And, uh, oh, what's this? You want me to play that, Arnold? Okay. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Okay. That should be how we end the show. Could be. What, Arnold? 
Yeah. I'm, he wants you to order him some more Coke Zero. Well, I'm going to order for all of us since he ate all, drank all your mm-hmm. stash. <sighs> well, without further ado, see you later, freaks. Freaks, well, you made it to the end of this episode. Congratulations. Now, can you please do us a favor, share and subscribe to us? Sharing spreads the word and subscribing ensures that you don't miss an episode. Follow us at Unseeing Critics on Twitter, now called X, at Unseeing Critics to join our Facebook group. Unseeingcritics at gmail.com www.theunseeingcritics.com